Hey friends, it's Lisa Neller here, and today I'm going to teach on triangle pose. I love triangle pose. It's very geometric. It is a strengthening pose, and it also brings flexibility. And what I have found is that, when, especially when I teach in like the resort area, uh, people come in and they're kind of surprised that they're getting attention and um, help with alignment. And so that's what I'm going to work on today. Is just, I'm going to give you some alignment tips so that you could do triangle pose effectively and enjoy the pose. The first thing I want to tell you is that most of our poses, the blueprint of our poses is really mountain pose. So we're always looking for a good posture. Mountain pose is right here. So the feet are hip distance apart, the uh, shoulders are up and back, the core is drawing inward, the heart is lifting, crown of the hat lifts up towards the sky. So there's this great posture in mountain pose, and we want to bring that into all of our other poses. So triangle pose, what we're going to do is take the feet, uh, I always say take the feet wide, and people start to go um, you know, a little wide, and some people go too wide, and here's the rule of thumb on that. You want to go about as wide as your wrists when they come over the ankles, that's about how wide you want to take your feet. What you're looking for in the foundation of triangle pose is stability, but you also want freedom. So you want enough freedom and you want stability. If your legs are too close together, you have no freedom. If your legs are too far apart, you have no stability. <laughs> so you want to come to a place in the middle. This is about where it's at, okay? We'll start with the right foot first. We're going to turn the foot towards the front of your mat. The back foot is going to be parallel to the back of the mat. And we want to establish a firm foundation for triangle pose because it is a standing pose and the foundation starts in the feet and moves up the leg bones to the core of the pelvis. So you want to engage a little bit of energy from the feet up to the core of the pelvis. The core stays in and you've got this beautiful posture, right? Just like mountain pose. The next step is to inhale the arms out to the side. A lot of times what I see people doing is this first in triangle pose. I'm not sure why they're doing that. There's no reason to do that. You just lengthen from, this, from the waistline up through underneath the arms, and then you can just come into the pose. Now you might come here. You might come a little deeper. I like to line the right shoulder up with the right wrist. So typically, I'll take the hand down behind the shin, kind of close to the knee. Now, the left arm, let's just try this. I'm going to bring it towards the front of the room, and then I'm going to pull the shoulder back and lift it up. And then I can look up at the hand, which is where the drishti goes, the gaze for triangle pose. So that's it. And then to come up, you, you um, hold the core in, and then you press down through your feet, and you rise back up and release. And then you do the other side. And I'm going to do the other side for you. Because this shoulder, for me, is frozen. This one's a little more open. so. Left foot comes towards the back of the mat, or the, this front of the mat. Uh, the back foot is parallel. You're still wide, about as wide as the wrists. Inhale the arms out to your side. Engage muscular energy in the legs. So you feel a strong foundation. And then we're just going to come to that place. Now use a block if you're not touching the floor here. You can come to your knee. What I don't like to see is people doing this in triangle pose. Like they're trying to reach the floor and they're, they're just losing all kinds of freedom here. So you just want to back out of it and come to that place that's right for you. Okay, so again with the shoulder, the right arm, I'm going to take the right arm forward, pull the shoulder back, lift the arm up, and if you'll notice, both shoulder blades are moving back. Gaze comes up towards the hand, legs and feet are still strong, core is in, and I'm going to press down, come on up, and release. So I hope that's helpful for you. Just a couple alignment tips. Shoulders up and back, feet are about uh, wrist distance apart, apply some muscular energy, and just take it to where your body's going to allow you to take it so that you can breathe freely. Thanks for being here, and I hope you learned something today, and have a great day.